Ciao a tutti e benvenuti in questo nuovo video, io sono Fiona e oggi ci troviamo nuovamente allo stand PlayStation qui al E3 2017. Mi trovo in compagnia di Michael Denny che è il presidente di Sony Worldwide Studios Europe. Hi Michael, how are you today? Yeah, really good, you? Quite well, a bit tired, even if it's the first day, but actually I'm okay. So I really like you to introduce yourself and tell me what is your job about and what are your main responsibilities. Okay, so I head up uh, Sony's Worldwide Studios here in Europe. My main responsibilities are to make sure all our wonderfully talented creators um, have the platform to show off their talents and create great games for our PlayStation fans. Let's talk about what we saw yesterday. So I noticed that you changed your conference formula, showing a lot of games and not so much talks. So are you sending a message to gamers and your competitors? Well, I think it's the message we've always tried to send is, is the reality that um, at PlayStation we're all about games and we're all about our players and very much uh, when we thought about putting the show together we wanted to show off as many of the great games and the diversity of games we had as possible for the benefit of our fans, yeah? Yeah, that's, that's right, but it was really different this year, so very, a, lot, a lot of games and very focused and I don't know, I saw something different in that, but maybe I just saw that, so yeah, I don't but, know. But that's great, right? That, that's what everybody wants to see, yeah? So um, I, I think it was um, uh, an evolution on what we did last year that was very focused as well, I thought, and very theatrical and showing off. And, and try, I think the theatrical presentation helps shows games as art as well, which is nice to do. And you did a great job, really. I was wondering how Sony Worldwide Studios' vision changed in the past years. Yeah, well, we've, we've always tried to have focus as a vision. You know, first and foremost, uh, we want to do quality games, uh, but we want to have innovation as well. And as well as doing AAA quality games, whether it's Horizon, Uncharted, GT Sport, etc., try and do new innovative things as well so VR has been fantastic for our players a uh, ma massive fan of VR and the different experiences we could do but also doing things like PlayLink as well new experiences so that gamers and non-gamers can play together so you introduced the PlayLink uh, thing so I was wondering why you launched this new service because it's also for non-gamers so I think you want to conquer the video game world so tell me something more about this new very interesting service yeah well I think the inspiration came if you if you remember back to PlayStation 2 days and this time in the life cycle the, the success we had and how much our players enjoyed games like Buzz and SingStar and iToy games that both gamers and non-gamers could play because there's an accessible controller. Um, so, so that was very much the inspiration and where we are on PlayStation 4 is, you know, we sold 60 million units. Yeah, fantastic on PlayStation 4 to core gamers and, and, and it's great to have experiences now that those core gamers can share with their friends and family who are maybe not uh, as core gamers as they are. So do you think you can expand the, the, the gamers with this kind of formula? I think that's definitely the hope, but first and foremost, it's um, so that those people who uh, love their console can have a PlayStation 4, and you know, it's a big part of their lives, and there are occasions um, you have where you have friends and family around, and uh, I think if, if you're a proud gamer, you'd love um, an experience where you could share your PlayStation 4 experience with those people. So first and foremost, it's about that, and I think then by doing that, maybe they get excited by console gaming as well. And something more, so if a, a studio wants to work with PlayStation, so how do you scout great studios to make your, uh, your games? Yeah, so we're always on the lookout for uh, talented studios and uh, very much we're talking to new studios all the time and uh, they're all free to pitch their latest ideas to us, concepts to us. Uh, of course we can't take on everything and we have a rigorous um, prototyping process so even if a concept sounds fantastic you have to go through a few iterations of prototypes, what we call proof of concepts, to see if that concept can really deliver on the excitement uh, of how it sounded. So, for example, in Italy there are a lot of good studios and even small studios. There is a way they can, they can contact you somehow or they can send you ideas because um, 
like I talked to a lot of devs and sometimes they feel scared about taking contact with huge um, companies like yours so maybe do you have any suggestion for them yeah don't be scared yeah Come and, yeah, c c come and talk to us. I mean, we, we've dealt with uh, many Italian developers in the past. Over Sonico, um, recently we had uh, great times with. So, no, it's just about uh, being bold, backing yourself. If you've got a great concept, yeah, please pitch it to us. So that's really interesting. Thank you very much for the suggestion. So thank you very much for being here with me and just say ciao. Ciao.